Are these three guys the, the greatest pickup artists in the world, right? Totally ridiculous. Are these guys sucked at cold approach pickup? I knew people that knew them personally. They weren't getting laid by hot chicks. They, it was just a disgrace. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I wanna to talk about endless options. Okay, the, the little uh, Indian dude, Jesse, from Simple Pickup, what used to be Simple Pickup. I'm gonna go into a technical critique of one of his points, and I'm also gonna have some general things to say about endless options and what was formerly Simple Pickup. Okay, before we continue, please subscribe below if you are not already a subscriber. Press notification bell to be alerted of new videos every single day. All through 2021 new videos press the notification bell so you never miss a video okay also if you want to get extremely good at the game you can get on a free 30 minute call with me personally and i'll tell you how you can get you very very good very very fast i'll walk you through the whole game plan according to wherever you're at in the game i have a nice questionnaire that shows me exactly where you're at and i'll show how i can fast track you to an advanced level and solve the problem for life in less than two months okay so Endless options, okay? My favorite fucking scammer internet marketer. This is Jesse from Simple Pickup. Okay, for those of you who don't know, back in the day, there was a group of terrible pickup artists who said, let's come up you know, with basically, let's discover the viral formula for YouTube videos, leveraging elements of prank channels, leveraging elements of pop culture. And they, you know, to their credit, got millions of views on that channel, okay? That has nothing to do with their game skill. Okay, I went through their Project Go paid course. I've gone through a lot of the coaches on YouTube's paid course, and 99 times out of 100, it's fucking total dog shit. Okay, but I give them the benefit of the doubt. I do my due diligence to look into this coach, and I know it's probably going to be the case, as you know, as is usually the case, that they fucking suck. And this was just another one of those. Okay, they, they were walking up to girls and saying, what's your favorite color? And, and the girl says red. Oh, I think you chose red because of Aphrodite and love. And it was just like, had no bearing whatsoever to real technical game, okay? But since they were clever in incorporating pop culture, they're getting millions of views. So they would go up and say Star Wars words in set in, in, in interactions, Harry Potter words in interactions. Really? Yeah. Anyway. Congratulations, you guys are the sorcerers. No, thank you. <laughs> Are you, are you sure? And you know this was this was popular to people because it's walking up to strangers and saying random shit. Prepare for trouble. Make it double. So you guys want to go out on a date with us or what? No, thank you. I have a boyfriend. Don't you? Um, I have a boyfriend. The, their technical game, their cold approach pickup, was atrocious. Absolutely horrendous. Uh, you are absolutely adorable. I had to stop you and say hi. Oh, no, come back, come back. I see you. Blonde girl. It didn't work. I went through a lot of their infields. I watched a bunch of their videos. It was a total disgrace. Okay, it's, it's like taking a bunch of clowns and bringing them into the pickup world. However, they were making a shitload of money because they gar garnished a shitload of views. Okay, and they told everyone, oh, anyone can be a dumbass with terrible technical game in public, right? So they got a whole lot of people coming into the pickup you know, world and, and doing a bunch of terrible technical game as they were trying to teach game, right? And then there was articles coming out, are these, are these three guys the, the greatest pickup artists in the world, right? Totally ridiculous. Right? These guys sucked at cold approach pickup. I knew people that knew them personally. They weren't getting laid by hot chicks. They, it was just a disgrace, okay? And, I, and, and I'll go into the endless option stuff in a second and the critique of one of their points. But I wanna, in the last discussion there about the simple pickup guys, uh, they had another, another one of the guys, the white dude, Jason, who was like in the hood literally around like fucking, you know, like thug-like characters, basically saying like, uh, hey man, you wanna kiss my ass, right? And a dude literally stood up and fucking rocked him in the face and knocked him out, right? And we'll, we'll roll that clip here. I'm just asking you, I'm just asking you an easy question, Back brother. Up, Yo, I'm just asking you, do you wanna Back kiss my up, ass? Nigga. Back the fuck up, nigga. There you go, that's what you get for being a fucking dumbass. So, those guys disbanded, went on to do their own projects, okay, they, they went on to create like a, a YouTube course called Jump Cut, okay, it continued more of, you know, just basically taking people's money. But then, the little Indian guy, Jesse, decided to make his way back into the pickup world, okay, where he does not belong whatsoever, okay? All right, 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 okay, now ladies. Hi, I'm Jesse. No. And now they're running lots of paid ads on Facebook and this and that. 
and, and trying to be experts in the pickup world again, focusing this time on Tinder. Okay, they don't hold a candle to someone like Alex from Playing With Fire, who's a real expert in online game and Tinder, and someone like myself, who's also a real expert in online game and Tinder. But surprise, surprise, they're back. Okay, at least one of them is fucking scamming people some more. So the, the one I wanted to go into today, one of their principles, as they said, you should be calling all, all the girls you get phone numbers from. Okay, I wholeheartedly disagree with that, and I'm going to go into the situations and, and provide the arguments why you should normally stick to texting, and in which cases it's useful to do phone number or sorry, phone calls. Okay, so the reason why you want to stick to texting is you want to keep things minimalistic. I have optimized text threads around the time that I hit a thousand girls towards the end of 2018. I had about 10,000 numbers in my phone, and I had an optimized series of flowcharts that tells guys what to text in every situation in every control path. And so guys just follow these and they get their dates set up. Going from a phone number to a date, it tells you what to do in every situation. Going from a match on Tinder to a phone number, it tells you what to do in every situation. Okay, and all that stuff is in my Leads Machine product. We'll put the link in the description, www.sexleadmachine.com. And you can also find it on my mentorship. You can jump on a free 30 minute call and get plugged into that there as well. Okay, so uh, I tell guys always text except for two exceptions. Okay, if you're under time pressure, in which case the most common usage is like the girl is like in bed and you're like, hey, what are you up to? And she's like, oh, I'm in bed, already in my pajamas, I'm about to fall asleep. Rather than go back and forth and wait for her to fall asleep or like try to deal with objections over text and run out of time, I get on the phone, deal with objections and wait until she's in the cab. And then some of the most common ways to deal with those objections, oh, you can just come in your pajamas, oh, well, I have to put on makeup and you're right. I don't care if you have makeup on, I won't judge, just come, etc. You get her to get in the car, get in the cab, okay, and you're just doing that because it's a time sensitive thing. This is usually a girl you've already seen, but it doesn't have to be. And then the other one is, the other case to advocate phone calls is damage control. If you fuck up, if you piss off a rotation girl or girlfriend or whatever, it's hard to deal with over text and she can just like finalize the discussion and be like, fuck you, bye, and then you're fucked, right? So it's better to get on the phone, deal with it, damage control it, and get another meetup set up where you can address it further in person. Okay, but like regard, besides those two situations, probably the only other one is if they insist on a phone call. Some girls are gonna be like, oh, I need to make sure you're real. Right? I'll be like, hey, tell me how many fingers you want me to hold up in a picture and I'll send a picture. Oh, you could have still found that online. I need to get on a phone call to make sure you're real. I need to go on a phone call to make sure you're not weird or whatever. If they insist, and only if they insist, I would get on a brief phone call, tell them I can only talk for five or 10 minutes and then get off the phone and, and say I'd prefer to get talking more in person on a date. Now here's the reasons why, why calling is stupid. First of all, it's not in the interest of time. If you're running volume, if you're getting 15 to 20 phone numbers a week, which is I advocate, you're not gonna be getting on 15 to 20 phone conversations a week. It's a huge waste of time. Second, you can go wrong at any, any part of the conversation. You can make a joke she doesn't like, you can, you can just not sound confident on the phone, there could be an awkward silence, and you're not dealing with much margin for error, much room for error. Keep in mind, she has zero invested. She's never met up with you before if this is an online game lead, and it's very easy for her to just bail. So if you do or say or act weird, like, do or say anything stupid or act weird in any way, or she doesn't like your tone or a pause, or a joke or anything like that, she can just bail on the on, the, on meeting you up. Okay. Next, you have nowhere to fucking direct the conversation. You can't you can't pull her over to your house or, or something like that. Typically, like you're gonna do this phone conversation and then like you know that's it. It doesn't really lead you to anywhere. So, so it's even more of a waste of time, right? Like on a date, you can now go back to your house after. So for those reasons, you want to keep things minimal. Okay. Even with texting, you want to keep it minimal. The texting, I say, and I said in a recent video, is like a battlefield. It's a power struggle. If she stalls on any one of those texts. Okay, or, if, or if you fuck up on the phone. Like, now you're playing damage control, now you're digging out of a hole for no reason, right? And, and the classic example, I, I see guys get a date set up and then they fucking, you know, they, they try to um, text more after and then they make some joke or, or do something that pisses the girl off and they end up losing the girl for no reason. If they would have just shut up, they would have had the date and it would have been fine, okay? So, endless options is, is a fucking piece of trash company. Okay, I'm gonna make other technical critiques of their stupid shit. They're just good at marketing. This is a classic example of guys that are good at marketing, that have millions of views on YouTube. Now they're just doing very good with paid ads. They have these like little stupid female models coming on and, and showing Tinder statistics. 86% of girls think these messages are weird. Like here, have some good messages. It's all a fucking load of shit. It's a money grab. Those guys were never good at game and they still are not good at game. Okay, I'll make, as I said, a bunch more videos on them. But if you have interest in learning a real system that's extremely optimized and works extremely well, jump on a free 30 minute call with me. I'll show you how I can get you to a very advanced level very fast. Also, please subscribe if you have not already. Press the notification bell for new videos every single day. And I will see you guys on the next video. Take care.
but we do it for the outcome Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run No doubt son, this is not just about fun We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum